in a community roundup. Community roundup Adam Pigano. Indi Ude Arbati on Badama, the Republic Dina Kosham, Chicago, Bipulamaya Paribadiglode Kondadi. It was this day in 1950 when the people of India gave themselves a constitution. And the state of Illinois is also celebrating her 200th birth anniversary. And it is a matter of great honor for us to have Ms. Elvin Singh Winiti, Lieutenant Governor of the state of Illinois, with us today. Chicago Indian Consulate in Orukia Charangana, Consul General Nita Poshan Nedurthanalke. Now I would like to read out excerpts from the address of the Honorable President of India, His Excellency Sri Ramnath Kovind. My dear fellow citizens, greetings to all of you on 69th Republic Day. This is a great day for us to celebrate and honor our nation and our sovereignty and the framers of our constitution to build the edifice of a better India. An India where each and every citizen will be able to realize his or her full potential. An India that will reach its deserved pedestal in the 21st century. Fellow citizens, the promise of a developed India beckons us. This is the new stage of our nation building project on which we have embarked. This is the republic that our young people need to take forward and enhance in keeping with their vision and wish all of you a very bright and fulfilling future. Thank you, Jenny. Uh, let me say that this year, we, the consulate is already also collaborating with the government of Illinois, Office of the Governor and the Lieutenant Governor for the Illinois Bicentenary Celebrations. So we will be joining you at various events and we hope to have you at our events as well. Thank, Thank you so much. Very uh, strong India and US relations, and especially India and Illinois relations. Illinois State Lieutenant Governor Evelyn Sanginetti, Mukhyatiti Ayurno. Hello, everyone. It's such an honor to be here. Um, I know many of you already because over the years we've cultivated fine friendships. And being here today next to our Consulate General, it is very true. It was almost an automatic sisterhood yes. from the moment we met. And I look forward to doing a lot of fine work together. I enjoyed your words, Consulate General, indicating in India that puts men and women at a level equal playing field. Through further collaboration, such as this one today, the state of Illinois will continue to broaden and deepen bilateral cooperation in areas such as trade, investment, culture, tourism, and education. As we celebrate today, Indian Americans and Indians around the world reflect on their history with great pride, but can also look ahead to a future with hope and great optimism. On behalf of the people of the state of Illinois, on behalf of me as your Lieutenant Governor and Governor Bruce Rauner, Congratulations and best wishes for continued success. Now let's celebrate. We with her Kalabri Vadigalum Arangari. From Illinois, I'm Evelyn Sanguinetti, Illinois' Lieutenant Governor. Today is a very special day because we're celebrating 
Republic Day as well as our 200th birthday as the state of Illinois. We're both coming together to celebrate the relationship shared and valued between the state of Illinois and India. I read excerpts of your constitution today and how you value both men and women being in an equal playing field, how much you value education. Well, Illinois values the same. We value our relationship with trade, our relationship in the arts. So going forward, happy Republic Day, and let's keep working together. And I would like to wish all the viewers a very happy 69th Republic Day. It is a great honor for me to be here in Chicago hoisting the national flag and I would like to thank all the community members who came here in such large numbers. We have taken a pledge here that we will all work towards making a new India, an India which is free of corruption, which is free of ills, of uh, casteism, uh, of uh, you know religious extremism, terrorism. We are working towards building an India which is clean, which is progressive, and so that we can uh, attain our place in the 21st century.